Hello everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda for the NES. Last time we cleared level 6 and in this episode we'll be clearing level 7. So, on with the show! And um, before I begin level 7, we need to get one special item from the shop because if we do not get this, we will not be able to go further through the dungeon. So it's a good time to start getting it now because it's kind of handy that I died a lot of times, because as you can see, I've got 100 rupees. And how much money we need, uh, sorry, how much rupees we need <laughs> for the item is uh, 60. And so we got enough. So yeah, that's pretty good. So all the deaths I had weren't completely bad. There were some good sides to them. But they were annoying, I tell you. Anyway, yeah. The, um... Item we're about to get is in the same area as we got the blue ring, which is, well, you know, underneath this armor statue. And that is... an expensive item, and you also notice that he's white as well. Whenever, um, we have a new tunic, somehow this guy has the same colour as us. I don't know how it works, but... oh well. Anyway, we want to buy Monster Bait. And like I said, it costs 60 rupees, and we have 53. And there's also another item we need to get, which is inside the dungeon. Well, to be honest, it's not really a, um item, it's more of an upgrade, but I'll reveal more about that later. For now, though, I want to grab as much rupees as I can on the way there. Because, um, what do you call it? The dungeon really isn't that far, it's in this area here, so we're quite near it and all. But, um, first of all, before I go there, I, of course, want to restore my health. And it's pointless cutting it because, well, we're done. <laughs> Looks like I already had enough in the first place. Anyway, let's continue going down here. Um, destroy all these moblins for the sake of rupees. I don't think they're going to appear, though. Are they going to appear? No, instead I'm going to get beaten up by them. Great. Meaning I don't have full hearts anymore. Anyway, um, this area, it may look like it's blank, meaning there's nothing there, but if we get the whistle out and use it, a staircase will be revealed, which will lead us to the next dungeon. Welcome to level 7, the demon, or should I say Majin, but is infinite. <laughs> Oh great, I had to bring that up. I'm guessing a lot of you are scared by now. <laughs> I won't go to details on what I meant by that, just in case if it creeps some of you out, because it is creepy. So, uh, I digress. Anyway, um, this room, keys, basically just destroy them all, you know. You don't have to, but one of them kills them all at once, but I don't think I'm doing very well on this. Yeah, that one. See, if I killed that one in the first place, they would all be gone. And... yeah. <laughs> so, pretty much it's all about luck on knowing which one to defeat. I mean, there's no clue to it or anything, it's just... luck. And, um, this dungeon, we will not encounter any new enemies. They are all the same like before. So, yeah. Let's see what this old man has to say. There's a secret in the tip of the nose. Yeah. Okay, I understand what he's going on about, but I'll reveal more about that later. For now, we want to continue going across here. And we could defeat this thing for the sake of bombs, but I've already got the maximum amount, so we're going to ignore it and just go into this room. Full of Stealthos. <laughs> Great. Stealthos is in, like, level 7. I'll tell you, though, level 7 is a joke. Level 6 is harder than level 7. Level 7, I never have any problems dying on. It's just really easy to me. And I'm pretty sure it's easy to you too. Because there's no whiz ropes, there's no dark nuts or anything. It's just... Eh, it's a bit weird. Anyway, um... The reason why I went all the way over there is for the sake of the key. I keep saying for the sake of stuff, I don't know why, but... Eh, starting to become a catchphrase, I guess. Another bad one. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, this dungeon, I would say, gets a bit repetitive, because, um, all you fight are these things, Gyroyas. Um, I don't know how you pronounce it, but I think it's Gyroyas. Um, I, <laughs> I am really not too sure. Mm. Oh well. Anyway, um, let's see now. 
want to bomb through this wall without getting hit by the lasers. Did a bomb just appear back there? Because I've missed it. Uh, oh well. Anyway, um, just destroy all these keys and then you'll get more bombs. And I was in the exact centre, so I didn't even have to bother walking towards it. Um, this room, you can defeat these if you want, but you don't have to. But And again, I'm doing it so that I can get more rupees. And this time I didn't say for the sake of stuff. <laughs> oh dear, this commentary is very weird at the moment. Hopefully I'll pick it up later. Anyway, um, this room, you could kill all these Dodongos, but I want to ignore them for now, because, well, they're not really going to give us anything, I don't think, so we're going to ignore them for now. And in case you're wondering why I ignored going up, because that's the room where I'll need uh, 100 rupees for this special upgrade, but I'll reveal more about that um, later or so. Anyway, let's see now. We want to go up. Oh, actually, no, we don't. <laughs> I was going the wrong way. I want to go all the way to the right. And get my blue candle out. So that I can see, obviously. And, of course, we will get the compass. And I swear, on this bit, this is not the emulator that makes it lag. That is the actual NES itself. I mean, consoles weren't too powerful back then. So yeah, just remember that's not the emulator, that's going to happen on any version you get, that's how the game is. So yeah, keep that in mind, and well, just keep it in mind, I mean you're not going to get rewarded or something. <laughs> there's not really much to talk about in this, because there's no new enemies or anything, it's basically just another dungeon with green. To be honest, I think this is the same colour as the ones we did before. Uh, I don't know. Level 7 to me is a joke, it's like... You try really hard on level 6, you think, yes, god, I've finally done it, except level 7's going to be harder. Nope. Instead, level 7's easier. It doesn't make any sense, but, mm, oh well. Still a fun game. Um, Dig Doggo, we don't actually have to defeat, so we are going to ignore it for now, because if we defeat it, he gives us nothing. <laughs> and I don't want to waste my time defeating him for nothing now, do I? Anyway, um, yeah. I think you can see why this dungeon's easy, because look, I am still at four hearts. <laughs> In level six, I kept dying with four hearts. It was very annoying. To be honest though, the um bombs we're going to get soon or so, I might as well show that at the end, because I mean, well, we're near the end of a dungeon, so yeah. We'll do that at the end. Rumble Grumble. In case you're wondering what he means, this means he's hungry. Meaning we have to give him the monster bait. This is the only way you can go forward. So, if you don't know what to do, that's all you got to do. Just feed him some bait. Do that and you will be fine. Anyway, um, let's see now. This room, if I can attack him. <laughs> God, I hate these things. And this one's positioned at an awkward place as well. Come on. There we go. Right, move out the way kill the keys if I can. There we go. <laughs> There's not really much to say at all, is there? Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> There's actually a um, secret room up here, which is, well, quite handy. It will help us for rupees and all. So, just blow a bomb through here, and look! There's a rupee room in the shape of a rupee, made from rupees. I don't really know any other way to explain it simply. Anyway, yeah. Let's just go through this door. Don't know why I spoke high then. And more Gaiobras! Great! <laughs> like I said, this dungeon gets very repetitive. If anything, I find this dungeon the most boring because of how hard level 6 was, but level 7 is like a joke. <laughs> my rain, my thoughts though on why they just, you know, Nintendo decided to do this is probably because level 6 was really hard for some people and I decided to make the next dungeon really easy to, you know, relieve the stress. Like me. Frickin' level 6. Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, this room... Yeah, we just want to kill all these things again. <laughs> oh god, it's just the same old thing at the moment. There's really not much to talk about. I mean, I'm not dying or anything. Look, I've still got half a heart missing. Ugh, this dungeon. Ugh, oh dear. Anyway, um... Yeah, the reason why I went in there is to get a key, 
and yeah. That's the main reason why I keep going into these places that you don't really need to go to, but it's vital for a key. So yeah. Anyway, and believe it or not, we are near the end of this dungeon already! <laughs> this is going very fast indeed, that's for sure. Anyway, um, let's just kill these things, go here, and um, no, I won't grab it with my boomerang because I've already got full hearts. So now we want to go down these stairs, and we will get a new item, at least now there's something new to talk about in this dungeon! The Red Candle! This is basically an upgrade of the blue candle, and now we can use it as many times as we like. So um, let me show you out here for an example. So the red candle, um, you can use it here, and when it's gone, you can use it again. And you know, you can just use it as many times as you want. It's not like the blue candle where you have to go outside of the room and use it, you know, over and over again by going outside of the room. But, yeah. The red candle is better, definitely. Anyway, um, let's see now. For now, we want to not go this way. <laughs> I think it's this way? I'm already getting confused here. I know you have to bomb one of these walls. Is it this one down here? I could be wrong. Yeah, I'm wrong. It's the one over here instead. So what we want to do is, um, I think it's down... Nope, not that way. Down this one. Nope. Okay, maybe over here? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I forgot what to do then. Oh, that was embarrassing. Oh dear. Anyway, um, let's see now. Yeah, Gaia is just to beat them all over again. God, because, because of this dungeon being so samey, this commentary is very samey as well. Ugh, oh dear. Anyway, let's just go up and see what's in here. A Moldor. So let's just defeat it easily. And now we get more bombs, great. We didn't really have to go in there, but I like to for the sake of rupees, you know, and all that. We are very near the end of a dungeon, and I'm trying to find something new to speak here. At least there's one new enemy in here. This may look like the same Duke Dogger, but if we use the whistle, he will indeed split into three versions, meaning, well, we have to kill the uh, three versions, which isn't that hard. See? Done. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see now, we want to go up here, and we don't have to defeat these Dodongos if we don't want, so I'm going to ignore them because I don't want to waste my bombs, because I don't know if they give you anything or not, because, well, I haven't actually done it. Ah, this room will confuse a lot of people. What you're really supposed to do in here is go down to here and defeat five Wallmasters. And hopefully I won't get carried back to the end. So yeah, that was uh, three, I think. And now four, five. There you go, done. Then after that, when all of the five wall masters are defeated, you then have to push this block because a staircase will be revealed. I will admit this took me a while to find out, so yeah. <laughs> it's not an obvious point or anything, so hmm. Anyway, let's just continue going up here, and now we are just outside the last room from the boss's room. Meaning, <laughs> we're very near the end of this dungeon, and you're going to be shocked what the boss is. <laughs> I was shocked first time, I was like, what? Are you serious? I just had to go through level 6 and fight all these wizard robes, and then, you know, defeat a really easy boss, but this one's even more easy. Simply, when we go in here, we will fight Aquamentus again, and he's really easy than before. All you gotta do is one, two. <laughs> That's it. That's the boss. Yeah, they didn't really bother to change his health or anything. I think that would have been better, really. You know, like on um, Gleok, where they gave him more heads, making it more difficult. But no, they just stuck Aquamentus how he was at the beginning, meaning the boss fight is really easy. Level 7's a joke. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I think you can tell I prefer this dungeon, though, over level 6 due to the difficulty levels. And... Yeah. Not really much to say. Let's acquire the Triforce. <laughs> and we don't even have to wait for our hearts to refill because they're already full due to how easy the dungeon was. Ugh, oh dear. Anyway, um... Yeah. 
that's it for this episode, and I reckon I'm going to call things off here. So, in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda, we will be starting level 8. The last dungeon we need to go to to get the last Triforce piece. So yes, it's going to be very good. So, take care guys, and I will see you in the next episode. But, before we end this episode off, I will now show you what happens with this. I bet you'd like to have more bombs. Yes, we will. So that's one reason why we needed 100 rupees. So when we get it, we will now get 16 bombs, which makes it very handy. So if I zoom in, we now have 16 bombs. That is the maximum we can get in this game. But, yeah. <laughs> See you guys later.